Assalamualaikum. We are from Group 2. We want to present about macroeconomy indicator and economy policy. Before that, I want to introduce my members group, which is Amalia Adila and me, Siti Nur Fakiha, and Amirul Zulkarnain, Muhammad Aiman Safwan, Justin Tin Yong Lim, and Siti Nur Aisyah Binti Rasti. First, I will present my part which is introduction. First, macroeconomy is the study of economic behavior. Macroeconomy very complex with many factors influencing its economy indicators. For economy indicators have three, which is output growth, unemployment, and inflation. Alright, if you can see, for output growth, is increase on output quantity of product and service that produce. Second, for unemployment, people in the labor force who are unemployment in the economy. Next, for inflation, inflation have measured in two ways, which is consumer price index is CPI and GDP. Next, the meaning of economic policies is are information statement and achievement that created by government that to guide the process of economic. For example, they want to correct the economic imbalance. Next, for market structure, refers to how different industries are classified and different type based on their degree and nature of competition for service and good. They have four type which is perfect competition, oligopoly market, monopoly market, and monopolistic competition. First, macroeconomy fluctuation reveals a good deal about market structure. Second, market structure has an important role in this spread of macroeconomic shocks. Now, I want to continue to discussion about how the effects of macroeconomics role of government intervention. First, providing public goods. The private sector does not provide public goods as public goods are not subject to the principle of exemption and provision of public goods usually cost a lot. The government used tax collection to finance the cost of providing public goods. Public goods are provided to improve the welfare of the community. This is because the production of public goods is borne by the government and paid for by the taxpayer. Next, Repair income distribution Unfair competition in the free market has led to a huge income distribution gap between the poor and the poor. The government used a system of taxation and subsidies to redistribute income and narrow that income disparity gap. The government implemented policies to eradicate poverty and reduce the income disparity among the community. Absolute poverty refers to household with a monthly income less than the poverty line income. Poverty line income refers to the income of households that can meet the basic needs of poverty measure based on the poverty rate which is the percentage of household which a monthly income less than uh, PLI compare to the total number of households within a certain period. 
relative poverty measure is income difference interstate racial and strata for example at urban and rural explain about controlling the power of monopoly monopoly power is owned by monopoly firm in determining price or determining output quantity but cannot determine both at a time impact imperfect competition in market create a monopoly the government control monopolistic power and promote healthy healthy competition in market. The government could encourage the entry of new firms into the market by removing restriction on new entry into the market. The productivity of some goods and service to require in large size of capital to operate effectively and produce output in large quantities. For example, water and electric electricity supply requirement considerable capital for the construction of dam and network system for need to operate of large scale to enjoy the very type of field economy that can drive down cost per unit of output. New fund a bear a bear for enter Entering the market and exciting firms have dominated the market, the entire market with high output at low cost and price. It is extremely difficult for newly entered firms to compete with exciting firms because of the large size of capital required and the risk of investor is high. Okay, then Controlling negative externality. Dependent economic activity create negative internal effect on other government intervention through law and regulation aims to control and eliminate eliminating negative internality. Internality. The government issue public good and social good that are not issued by the private sector to improve well-being and standard of living of the society. The government create job opportunities in public sector and initiative to provide such as good. Okay. Then Stabilize and price increase. The consultant implanting demand and supply cost economic activity to fluctuate to the point of increase the problem of the stabilization of the general price level. The government intervened in the economy through fiscal policy and monetary policy to stabilize the economy. Price stability and monetary stability. Price stability can guarantee the stability of purchase power as well the cost of living of the society. Price volatility on the other hand can affect people's standard of living. A stable general price level Exit with when the average price of the item do not change or undergo change at the low rate. When inflation and deflation, the general price level will become unstable. The government subsidy manufacture to control the price of the trough. The manufacturer control price of good. When production costs increase, the manufacturer will transfer the burden of such a cost to the cons consumer. If the government subsidy manufacturer to cover the re rising cost of production, then the manufacturer will not raise the price of good and price good in the market can be controlled. That's all for me.
effect of fiscal policy and mandatory policy. Fiscal policy is how a government adjusts its spending level and tax rate to monitor and influence a national economy. Sister strategy to monetary policy through which a central bank influences a national's money supply. It must be monitored and how its implementation may affect different people in an economy. Inflation is one of the microeconomic factors. Inflation is when an economy expands as a result of greater spending but not as a result of increased production of goods and services. This will cause inflation to collapse. When the price rises as a result and the money inside the economy is worth less than it was previously. When the currency loses value, its exchange rate fall in comparison to another currency. Contractionally monetary policy. It is a prominent method of controlling inflation. When the money runs out, individuals who have it prefer to keep it and save it rather than spend it, which help to limit expenditure. Cutting expenditure is critical during period of inflation since it serves to decrease economic growth and as a result, the path of inflation. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Ahmad Masafan Bayan Aiza. Today, I will present the Malaysia government had a significant impact of the economy. In 1980, until 1982, the government increased its role in the company by purpose and expansionary set counter cyclical fiscal policies aim at increasing economy and sustaining growth to weather the impact of the global crisis. The counter cyclical approach result in dual deficit in the government budgetary position. Uh, the first one is necessi necessitating a major structural program to reduce spending and rearrange national objective following domestic resource availability and to ensure pre prudence in the in the us of foreign resources foreign resource okay uh, next is the credit channel will be affected by the effect of fiscal and monetary policies on the economy the credit channel is the mechanism mechanism by the by which monetary policy influence demand through bank demand through bank and other financial organization a rise in interest rate as previous as previously previously said uh, lead to a drop in the value of various assets the credit channel amplifies the effect of a highest repo rate rate as it makes more difficult for household and companies to borrow money from banks or make loan from bank which lead to a drop in consumption and investment that's all from me thank you Assalamualaikum. So I am the last presenter to present about the group assignment. So I will present about the conclusion and recommendation. 
um, by doing this assignment, we can learn about the definition of microeconomics that contrasts to microeconomics, which is more focused on individuals and the way they make uh, economic decisions. Then we know that microeconomics is very complex with many factors influence it. We can learn about the economics policy which related a market structure type. Then we know how the effects of a role of government intervention in relation to that firm or industry or market which is operate in selected economic market structure types. Then we also know the effect of fiscal policy and monetary policy on a firm or industry or market related with the short run and long run decisions. So, the government also ought to know the causes of the effects of macroeconomic indicator and know the effects of fiscal policy and monetary policy with short run and long run. They must cooperate to each other to solve any problems occurs. In our opinion, role of government intervention give effects to structure types of macroeconomics. Among them are providing public goods, repair income distribution, controlling the power of monopolies, control negative externality and stabilize the price increase. For example, providing public goods. The government used tax collection to finance the cost of providing public goods and be, be, uh, because public goods are provided to improve the welfare of the community. This is because the production of public goods is borne by the government and paid for by the taxpayer, which is citizens. Next, fiscal policy and monetary policy give effect with the short run and long run. Among them is contractionary monetary policy, the weak version of the fiscal theory or the price level and the strong version of the fiscal theory of the price level methods, the fiscal budget constraint effects both long-term monetary and fiscal policy since senior age, uh, then income from printing money is one of the source of government revenue and the credit channel will be affected by the effects of fiscal and monetary policies on the economy. For example, contractionary monetary policy. This is because contractionary monetary policy is prominent method to controlling the inflation. So that's all from our group. Um, thank you.